I sigh looking up at the ceiling again. It's been about an hour now, and I'm still stuck. What to even write about? I don't know. I'm drawing a serious blank. My mind wanders back to what Monica said earlier today. Unable to control things. When I think about those words, I can't help but resonate with them. Not on the level of that's just how life is. There's always something out of the out of your control. But something greater than that. I don't really know how to describe it. It's sort of like I can understand what she means. Not being in control at all. Something like that. Well, I guess I can write about that. Not to specifically impress Monica or anything. But maybe I can let her know that I can understand what she's going through. After all, she is way out of my league. I might be able to impress her, but even I know that it's not going to mean she'll suddenly want to be close to me. Well, I'll probably not impress her. On, a, on second thought, considering her reaction to my poem, still there's no shame in at least trying. Now just to think of some words. Okay! Another day goes by, and it's time for the club meeting to get ready. All right. I've gotten pretty comfortable here over the past few days. Hi, Mikey. Hey, Sayori. It's the usual scene when I enter the club room. <clears throat> you seem like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just really happy that you're in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing for you to be happy about. Wait. Oh, I know what this part might be. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, she wants us to... Want us to snack with her. We found out she hasn't even had much or something. Okay, I think this one's probably going to be good for her. I don't want to disturb Yuri, so I turn my attention towards Monica, who is by the front of the room. She's sitting alone, notebook open and, a <clears throat> open and pen in hand, but seems to be perfectly still. I'm just going to say right now, too, because I'm probably going to cut out most of that stuff that was just before. Um, pretty much those dialogues that I cut out before was the same ones as the actual game was. The same dialogues, pretty much. So, yeah. Just letting everyone know that now. She doesn't make a single movement as I walk up to her. Writer's block? Monica nearly jumps from her seat, her chair suddenly making a loud noise as she scoots away from before she turns around. Oh, it's just you, Mikey. Sorry for scaring you. Again. Oh, it's fine. You seem pretty deep in thought about something, though. Was it... Was it what you asked me about yesterday? I suppose. And your voice keeps changing again? <laughs> Monica Key gives another glance over me. Uh, do I still have... Do I still have ketchup on my face? Well, where'd the ketchup come from? I knew I should have looked for the for a napkin. I quickly wipe my mouth with with Monica giggling. No, it's not that, Mikey. <laughs> it's it's blushing, isn't it? <laughs> she closes her eyes and sighs. Oh, it's difficult to put into words. I try to think back on Monica's words from before. Having the power to choose things, but then I, then it being taken from you. I still don't know what exactly Monica is going through, but it sounds rough. I see. I sit down at the desk next to her. <clears throat> um, well, I did say last time that I sh that you sh that, that you could talk to the other club members. But that was only yesterday. Mm -hmm. I guess it's hard to suddenly change your mind all of a sudden, even if you are friends. Well, I appreciate you trying to talk to me. Bitch. <laughs> Damn. It's, <laughs> it's no good just to keep everything to you, to yourself. It feels like Monica keeps trying to push me away, though. <laughs> so, you should probably go, damn, talk with the other girls. 
she's kind of pulling what Sayori was doing in the uh, main story. Where she wanted us to keep making friends. And not worry about how she was always sad in the club room. Or something was wrong with her. She's like doing that shit. Don't be held back by me. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be a lot happier than if you stick around just listening to me drone and all- STEP OUT OF IT! <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my back! <laughs> I read that. What? Oh. Monica, this is actually kind of sad, really. She's the club president, so I find it kind of hard that no one else is really seeing to her. Especially since Sayori is usually take, is usually talking to her. It seems so obvious today. I guess Sayori noticed it as well, but... When I talk to Monica, it feels like there's something more. It's not something that any high school girl might go through. It feels sort of more philosophical in nature. Or something spiritual. I can't put a good word to it. Well, I mean, you're a club president, or a club member, too. It just wouldn't be right to leave you out of it. Even if I became friends with the other members, I'd like to be friends with you, too. You're so sweet, Mikey. <laughs> I am? <laughs> I wasn't really picking on those. I no, I know. Jeez, I didn't think you thought it was serious there. Disgusting! <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> that, that truthfully speaking, this is something only I can deal with. So don't worry too much about me. Besides, <laughs> you can't be friends with the others if you only thinking about me. I, I guess so. But still, I can't help but be concerned. I get it. Though, I want you to get along with everyone, too! <laughs> right. Don't worry. I'll talk with you, but make sure you get friendly with everyone else. But... Uh... Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> Oh, but look at the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. It's time to share poems again. Fuck! You're gonna read my poems. Everyone quietly gets out of, the, out of their poems, myself included. Oh. Well, we're probably just gonna have to go with Monica, right? Just because she's the only one who can ask something different. Hi again, Mikey. How's the riding going? Terrible. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. Okay, at first this is starting to do like the same. Wait, she was just silent. A very thick silence overcomes us as Monica keeps rereading my poem. It's, um... That yeah. bad, huh? No, it's... How can I say this? It's turn me on! No. <laughs> I say terrible, you say turn me on. <laughs> what the fuck? I see Monica take a breath and then smile as if she was taking a moment to recollect herself. It's a movement I've seen multiple times now. Monica seems to be hiding some other self of hers uh -oh. behind behind being the club president. You're a man after my own heart, Mikey. Writing such a wonderful poem. It's very abstract, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> not in the not in the way that Yuri uses complex metaphors, yeah. but. More than it's out there, you know? No. Oh, sorry. That came off as kind of rude. No, I get what you mean. I... 
are you sure you you really haven't written before? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely sure. Hmm. Monica looks over me like she's looking for some kind of tell. <clears throat> Maybe you still we have a natural uh, talent out there for, for this. <laughs> I, try, I tried to read that fast. But I can't. Bust that whole thing. I wouldn't say that. Excuse me? It's a bit strange, you know. I find it hard to believe you didn't already join some other club that had writing in it. Pretty sure lyrics are close to the only thing with writing. <laughs> well. Well, I used to be part of a club. Oh. Which one? The damn club. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> the go home straight after school club. Bro. Okay, so you just made that up. <laughs> Monica <laughs> smiles at the joke, making my heart skip a beat. Well, I'm glad you're here now. It's really funny. <laughs> You have a very <coughs> unequal writing. Unique. Oh, unique writing style. It comes to me kind of naturally, I guess. Well, keep at it. Anyway, here's my poem. I like the way it's turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Okay. Save me. Same one, I think? Save yeah, me from this nightmare. So what if you can see the talk inside of me? I don't know, was that the right one I was singing? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. This one's pretty abstract, too. <laughs> we match together well, don't we? Maybe we do. <laughs> sure. Though I think yours is, uh... A lot better than mine. <laughs> I kind of like playing with the space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space words can totally change the mod mood of, oh, mood <laughs> of the poem. It's almost like magic. Houdini? I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. I can say the same for yours. But sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract. Wait. As abstract, you got it. Abstract. As a physical expression of a feeling. Or even a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway. Here's Marcus right tape for the night! Oh god. I don't give a shit. Dun 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 dun. Oh wait, is this new? Or if you decide to spare yourself from pain. Oh! <laughs> About saving the game. The, Mon the Monica's writing tip of the day where she snatches to save your game. That last part was different. But you already know that, don't you? Oh. She already knows. Wait, see where they took about writing. Alright, <clears throat> All right, and pretty much the rest this is gonna be the same, I guess, so. Oh! Is it new? It, it's probably going to, because we're done with the poem reading. Oh, wait, something put extra planned? Is that new? I think. I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, <laughs> sorry about it. <laughs> uh, do, do, do we really have to do something for the festival? Yes, bitch! <gasps> it's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. <laughs> we'll just end up and. Embarrassing instead of getting any new members. That's oh, a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. 
Don't worry so much. Dogs. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Wait, what do I feel like this is the same? Hmm. The festival. Oh, yeah, working on posters. Performing. Yeah, this song. Poetry performance. <laughs> and I got so excited. This one might be different, but rest so than always. Mm hmm. Something on your mind? Mm hmm. I don't like, I don't like that humming, nor the smile on Sailor's face. I was just thinking about something from earlier. Oh no. Hmm. Wait. What you talking about? I like how we get to walk home together, but. So let's just say, the day Monica asks you to walk home, which, fuck, you gotta pick Monica, don't we? God damn it. Ah! What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're putting me on the spot here. Ah! Ah, god damn it. Alright. So we're gonna have to pick Monica, since this is supposed to be her ending now. Still with Monica, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart jump? I mean, we didn't get to talk much last year, so it might be nice to talk with her. Ha! <laughs> She's so pretty, too. That has nothing to do with this enough. Ha! <laughs> you admitted it! Jeez. Whatever, it's not like there's any point of speculating something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe. But since it came up earlier, I couldn't help but think about it. Just don't forget about me. Of course not, dummy. <clears throat> I definitely turn her, turn her down if she asks. Has to do that every day. I see. But whatever. It's not like it's going to happen. Let's talk about something else now. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Um. How about them Nationals winning the World Series? First time ever in their franchise. No? Alright. <laughs> the rest of the trip home, Sayori and I make some small talk about the festival and what we're looking forward to at, to at it. But the thought is still on my mind. Monica asking to walk home with me. But either way, I still have a poem to write tonight. I feel like we have to do another night. There was nothing that happened. We was gonna stop recording here after this day, but really nothing changed on this day. Hmm. Everything was like the same as the main game. Do you want to keep that for another part then? Uh, no, I want to. I want to get another day before, like another day of something that's happening. Before I stop, I like I don't know why nothing happened on this day. I'm kind of hoping something happens the next. True. I mean, if nothing happens the next day, we're gonna have to stop. Cause true, and I can't stay too late. <coughs> so I guess it really doesn't matter anymore because it seemed the poems completely changed. Oh, oh yeah, she was late again. Uh, you're just being nice, Mikey. It's true, though. By the way, Monica and Atsuki talk about food in the back room. Sayori quickly hammers into me about her eating. Are you saying I eat too much, Mikey? Oh, well, this is different. A landmine-filled question, that's for sure. All I'm saying is that you should... Watch your wallet. You tried to sucker me into buying something from the vending machine the other day. It only makes sense that I should worry about whether or not you're going to spend too much at the festival. Mm. Managed to touch that bullet. 
Mm, okay. That means you'll walk with me around the festival to make sure I don't spend too much, right, Mikey? Everyone just popped up and the music stopped. Something's about to get awkward. The conversation between Monica and Natsuki grinds to an in immediate halt, and even Yuri looks up with her from her book. Great. I dodged a bullet only to face a firing squad. Um. <clears throat> well, I haven't made any plans for the festival, so maybe. I could feel my eyes drift slightly over to Monica, but I forced myself to keep an eye contact with Sayori. Unfortunately, with the very, very visible smile on her face, I'm sure she caught me. Okay. That's fine with me. Just don't wander around the festival alone, okay? Yeah, will do, Sayori. What's everyone looking at? Sorry. Yuri quickly turns back to her book and with Sayori coming over to talk to her. Monica and Natsuki resume their conversation, though it seems a bit forced at first. Whew. Gee, Sayori asking stupid questions like that. Whatever, I guess, whatever, I guess uh, everything's fine. I go, gra I go back to my usual desk and close my eyes, wondering about the festival. Hmm, what did I do at the festival last year? I can vaguely remember it being fun, but I can't seem to recall what I did specifically. Got drunk. I can't even remember what our class did for our, our class activity either. It was my first high school festival, too. I should have pretty good memories of it. It's kind of, kind of strange, huh? But as long as I remember it being fun, I guess it was. It's you, Monica. <laughs> Mikey. Eh? <laughs> I turn around to the sound of Monica's voice jolting me out of my thoughts. Oh, hey. You look incredibly deep in thought. Something bothering you? Er? Are you worried about being able to perform in front of the... Other students? Yeah, I have a history of peeing my pants on stage. Damn. <laughs> no, it's not that. Um, hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, okay, this is going to sound strange, but please answer it as best you can. Okay. What did we do at the festival last year? Uh, not like that. I mean, what did our class do last year for the festival? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I know what you mean. You don't remember, though? Sorry. We ran a maid and... Butler Cafe? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> you honestly don't remember, huh? Absolutely not. <laughs> we were head maid and butler in the class. We were? <laughs> the guys in the class didn't seem to like you as much afterwards. Okay, I can imagine why. <laughs> but it was nice. You weren't trying to flirt with me or anything, so I knew I had made a good choice. Wait, you picked me for this shit? What the hell? Yes. I don't know what is more frustrating. The fact I couldn't remember anything about the festival at all last year, or the fact that I've lost the memory of Monica in a maid dress. Damn. Unbelievable. I see. You really can't remember? Absolutely not. Really? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm just tired today, huh? I mean, I couldn't remember anything today. Not a single thing. Well, did you have any friends to go with last year? Nope! <laughs> I turn a little bit away, probably giving Monica everything she needs to know. Maybe that's why you can't remember anything. But you know, that can change this year. Hmm? You have the club. 
Oh, yeah. And she already told you to spend the festival alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can enjoy yourself more and make more memories you'll remember if you spend it with us. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Monica flashes a wide, bright smile that makes my heart jump. Yeah. Thanks, Monica. <laughs> Maybe you should try to take a page from Siori. She seems really excited and worried. <laughs> Why'd you whisper that? <laughs> I'll try. I think she's just excited for the food. What's the deal with the with the Fried squid, though. Oh! Nothing. <laughs> That's... For a brief second, I see a small, wistful smile appear on Monica's face. A joke that most people wouldn't get. <laughs> I guess they have been friends long enough, so there's bound to be some inside jokes between them. I see. But still. Don't be all yourself during the festival. You say all be yourself? Don't be all be yourself or some oh, shit? I said it. I didn't hear bye. Don't be all your... Wait, fuck. <laughs> Shut up. I'm sure everyone here wouldn't mind walking around with you. Though, if you want to walk around with me, you better give me a... What? Stellar performance. Damn, okay. She's good. one of those bitches. Like, if you want to hang out, you better be great at this. Yeah. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> You'll be fine, Mikey. Oh, God. Whoa. She leans in, whispering into my ear. Just tell me if you'd like to go around. You might need to whisper to them. Just tell me if you'd like to go around together. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> I go as she pulls away, feeling the cold sweat going down my neck. Oh god, jeez. Especially since Sayori was staring at him, staring my way, attracting everyone's attention. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah. I think so. <laughs> I mentally thank Monica for the save. Yeah, thanks. I can already tell Sayori is going to question me on the way home. <clears throat> Let me know if you have anything else you want to ask. I will do. I quietly turn back to looking out the window, trying to go back over my poem in my head again. I definitely need to memorize that for the festival. Okay, everyone! Why don't we share our poems now? God damn it. Everyone goes to get their poems, so I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, she smiles at me. I look away and can feel a bit of heat on my cheeks. Huh. Alright, all I have to do is remain calm. <laughs> It's just a normal day, after all. Freaking jeez. Alright, go on the Monica. Let's see if there's anything different. This time. If it's the same, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Should you just... Can you hold it in before the end of the day? It shouldn't be long. Probably. I think they have to do, like, the, uh... Like, the part where... They have to... Ask who I'm helping with? Are you in the camera? You're not even in the camera, dude. <laughs> You are like so off screen. Oh, yeah, sorry, but it's the same thing. What about what you want to submit the poem? Well, you must club. <clears throat> Give it some more thought. Pressure. It's the same thing, isn't it? Seems less light now that I'm used to this. Poems always seem to make my feel become strangely quiet. That's different. It's... What I think is a brief, pained expression shows up on her face. What? 
Well, you certainly have kept your old style. It doesn't look like you took after anyone else. I guess that's okay, right? The change is almost tangible. It's like what happens every time. Monica shows herself for a second, but then always retreats back into this more friendly persona she always shows. Yeah, it's nice that you were able to keep to being yourself. <laughs> They'll even see them to really impress them. I wasn't exactly writing to impress any of them, though. Oh. <laughs> well, you trying to impress me? Uh. No. <laughs> oh, wow, you actually did say no. No, it's, um, this is my normal writing style, is all. You're so cute sometimes, Mikey. Oh, jeez. Cube? I can't see. I know you weren't trying to impress me. Even though our styles are similar, you kept your own personal touch. I don't know what else to say, though. Oh, you could try to keep your tone a little consistent. Consistent. Yeah. Make sure you go through and... Choose your words. Choose your words carefully. I think you told you this before, though. I think so, too. Uh, make sure you work on it. This is your first draft. Yeah, I guess I'll try to spend some more time on it rather than just finishing it and then being done. Mm-hmm. Well, keep at it. <coughs> anyway, here's my poem. Well, you know this everything. Oh, yeah, I think I do know this one. It says, like, something about feather. Yeah, I think I do. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers. Monica trails off. Monica? It's nothing. Sorry. Just something unexpectedly heavy came to mind. Is everything alright? Yeah, it wasn't anything serious. Where was I? Oh. But... Looking for answers gives life meaning. Not to get too physiological. physiological or anything. It's just the thought is all we had all the answers. Wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? I see. I don't I really, really think, think so. so. Oh. I don't really think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, we just ask the new questions, right? Monica gives me a bit of an odd look before smiling. I guess that's true. Sometimes you think you have it figured out. Only for something to give you an entirely new set of questions. And then you completely suck on why something happened. Sounds like Monica's speaking from experience. Now she just got sad. What? She just got sad again. Yep. And even though she's looking at me when she says this, it feels like she's talking to someone right behind me. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> this game knows there's literally someone behind me. What's up? What are you doing in my house? Bitch, I've been in your house for like, since six something. <laughs> That's a little weird. Who's behind him? It's Sayori! No, she's talking about us in oh. the computer playing it. 
Anyway, I also noticed that everyone seems to like writing more about sad things than happy things. <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> I mean, if anything was okay, there wouldn't be much to write about, would there? Why does she sound like Natsuki? Humans aren't too <laughs> dumb. What does that say? Two dimensional. Dimensional creatures. I think you know that they're better than anyone else, right? Is that Terminator? Yes. Okay. You mean one dimen- Oh, fuck, that's you. <laughs> you mean one dimensional? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> anyway, uh. Here's Monica's writing. Here's Arnold's writing tip of the day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck your chopper. Yeah, we already know about this shit. Ow. Don't tell me what to do. Ow. 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 <laughs> Alright, rest of these need to be skipped. Oh, oh wait, this one is actually different, I think. Because this would be around the time Sayori would actually leave in regular game. Then she kills herself. Don't remind me. It's always have to remind you. Now I remember where I've seen this room. This before? I don't know. Super abstract, so it's a lot like Monica. Oh, shit. Okay, now it's different. But you have your own style, too. Might as well be a voice of person. <clears throat> but you have your own style to it, too. That's why it looks very original. Looks? Oh, well, it is original, but it's almost like there's a small touch of her, head, her style. But you're clearly not trying to write like her. <laughs> I decided to change the subject before Sayori can continue on this track. Anyway, what about your poem? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. God damn it. <laughs> Sayori. I mean, I actually, um, forgot. Seriously? I had a paper due today and I... I procrastinated. I don't know what that word was. I can't help but sigh. <laughs> Jeez. You should have worked on it earlier. I know. But I had so much fun here that I kept po putting it off. Writing poems, seeing everyone happy. Time went by without me realizing it. I see. It still doesn't change that you shouldn't have delayed, delayed doing your work. I wonder which... One of us is going to become a, the neat at this rate. Hey! Sayori goes red with embarrassment. I can't help but laugh at her reaction. After a little bit, Sayori joins in the laughter as well. <laughs> but still, thanks for sharing your poem with me. Make sure the others get to see it too. Now these two should be the same because they were still part of the fucking game. All done sharing poems, right? <laughs> Why don't we start figuring out the rest of the best for borrowed pens and oh, fuck, preparations? preparations. <laughs> Sorry. This one should be different too because now Sayori's here. I already know what I'm doing. Suck a dick. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Oh, no problem. Oh, God. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Let me call all my black friends. What? Myself, I'm going to be <coughs> printing. I, don't, I was going to say printing, hardening, <laughs> and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Then, as for you, Yuri, 
Yuri, you can. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Say why you have to text before Yuri can comment on the pause. Yuri has super pretty handwriting, so she could make banners and decorations. You know, get the mood going. Atmosphere. Fart. I. <laughs> yes. I love atmosphere. Damn. Don't you become a superhero? <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> Invisible woman. <laughs> <laughs> For that, I am now atmosphere woman. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> God, we are such losers. That's <laughs> that us. Yuri Lee suddenly beams, nodding to herself, as if she was already thinking about how everything would look. You're already going at it, I see. <laughs> oh, that would be wonderful, <laughs> Yuri. Jeez. That relieves Sayori and Mikey. Both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would be probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. No. You could always help out as well. I'd really appreciate it. That's... Yeah. Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of the club members? How on earth are they going to respond to that? Ah. <sighs> I would, I suppose I wouldn't mind if it could help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. Ooh. <laughs> what kind of dirty work? It's not like Monica's going to, I can't see, to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you're a bitch. <laughs> you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Uh, I think these parts are actually the same, though. Oh, now Sayori's here. Oh! <laughs> Sayori interrupts again. Why do they sound like Michael Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sayori interrupts again. I see... Monica sigh from the background. Jeez, it's almost like they forgot about Sayori. Wait, can I voice her, uh, Sayori this first time? Oh, no. uh, why? You'll love it. Uh, why did she say I like Yuri? <laughs> I don't know, did I? You did. For Watch, it's gonna be better than your voice already. <laughs> Alright. You make her look like shit, I will punch you right here on this freaking recording. <laughs> A sort of big house so actually Natsuki and Yuri can both come over phew dodged a bullet there thanks Sayori <laughs> just so you guys know I legitimately did beat his ass Then Mikey can help Monica. Oh. That's definitely going to be safe for the next recording session. <laughs> I'm paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> the day that Sayori finds a guy she likes so I can return the favor in, in kind can't come soon enough. I'll point <laughs> one. <laughs> oh. And the town would be on, sir. Yeah, it did. Plus, we're neighbors, so it'll be it'll be easy if anyone needs extra help. No one seems to be able to come up with an argument against that. So there's murmurs, I guess that is. What? It, it says right there, murmurs. I never heard that in my life, to be honest. There's murmurs of agreement throughout the room. Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's settled then. Well, aim for early Sunday afternoon. 
that should be fine for everyone, right? Yep. That's fine. Uh, okay, works for me. With that, the three of them start talking. <clears throat> start talking probably about what to drink. Oh. Mikey! <laughs> Jesus. I'll need your phone number. Yeah, can you have a different voice first before I do that? <laughs> I need your phone number. Thank you. <laughs> and your address as well, I guess. Okay, but uh, don't do any creepy stuff when you're trying to climb in my window or something. It shouldn't be hard to find since Sayori and you are neighbors. But I'd rather not knock on the wrong door. <laughs> It's understandable. I take out my phone and swap with Monica, each of us, <clears throat> putting in our contact information. Alright, so my number is 666-666-6669. I like that number. Best number ever. Do I need to get anything between now and Sunday? I have everything we need, so we should be fine. Is one of them condoms? Yes. Big, <laughs> extra, large condoms. <laughs> Flavored! <laughs> Comes in cherry, blueberry, and vitamin. I mean, um... <laughs> <laughs> vitamin? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> cherry? I didn't know vitamin could be a flavor. Blueberry and pineapple. Pick pineapple. <laughs> oh. <laughs> er... Actually, you do have a printer, right? Yeah. You don't mind if we <clears throat> use it, do you? <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Shit, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we should be good to go. I'll see you then, Mikey. Yeah, see you then, Monica Schwarzenegger, deep voice, slow voice, whoever the fuck you are. Queer! <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were, like, looking at my fingers at the space bar the whole time, waiting for that moment. Yeah. <laughs> See, Hori, are you ready to go? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. You got everything with Monica planned out? Yeah. Okay! See you all on Sunday! After greeting everyone goodbye, Sayori and I start our usual walk home together. Hey, <laughs> it's going to be so much fun this weekend. I guess. Couldn't we all have been in one house though? <clears throat> it getting way too chaotic then. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> besides, you get to spend some time with Monica, right? I ship you guys. Just kiss and make out. Sa- What, say? No, I'm so. No, gentlemen, I don't. <laughs> Motherfucking gentlemen. You two were in the same class last year, but I didn't- But you didn't talk much. From what I've heard. It'll be a good chance for you two to talk. That way, you two can be really good friends. Yeah, Yay! You're like, fuck. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Sir, right. I'm still not looking forward to reading my poem out of the festival, though. I'm sure you'll be fine. Maybe. I'm just not that good at performing. Well, I'll definitely cheer you on. So just try, okay? Yeah, don't worry about that. Still, though, Monica is going to be coming over to my house on Sunday. Even if I've gotten a bit used to talking with her, there's no telling what might happen when we're outside of school. He's thinking 30. Well, Monica didn't exactly say she was looking forward to it. So the chances that anything is going to happen between us are really low. But only time will tell. I guess all I can do is to wait and see. Alright. 
this is where we're going to leave off. We're going to have a big recording session next time. Who knows if you'll be here this time? Maybe I will week. We'll see about be that. here. We'll see about that. Are you kicking me out? Depending, depending on my edits and whenever it needs to be uploaded, we will see. Match. Anyway, that'll be it for now. <clears throat> All these save files are still here too. Jesus Christ! It's... I believe it's saved here. And yeah, that'll be it this time. Things are starting to get spicy. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.